I'm mixless, but I think we're still good. Ooh. Not, worth the effort. Not worth the effort? I disagree, Ob. I disagree. That was definitely worth the effort. We got the win. That was a <laughs> Ladies and gentle mages, civilians across the multiverse, welcome back to another episode with Mana Man. And today, we got a juicer for it. Before we dig into the deck, I'm going to ask you the question of the day. What is your favorite outlaw? Let's get right into it, baby. We got the outlaw rolls, baby. So we're combining two kind of like archetypes here. We do have like the Lord Skitter's Blessing and like the Spiteful Hex Mage and like the charming scoundrel so we do have like the eldraine kind of like roles we're bringing it back and we're even taking it a step further and we're gonna go in and put it into the outlaw stuff so if you notice if you notice laughing jasper flint creatures you can don't control blah 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 are mercenaries addition to the other types so they are going to be outlaws so the beginning of your upkeep exile the top x cards of a target opponent's library where x is the number of outlaws you control until end of turn you may cast spells from among those cards and you can do any color so that is pretty nice but what you'll notice what you'll notice is that these like Eldraine cards actually are outlaws. I did not even really notice that. So we'll go and address the Spiteful Hex Mage. This is a Warlock. Now, Warlocks are literally outlaws. So you're going to create a Curse Roll Token, attach a target creature you control. 99% of the time, you don't really care. You can put it on itself if you're planning on going for Lord Skidder's Blessing because then you're going to create a Wicked Roll and the Wicked Roll kind of washes off the Curse Roll. But a lot of the time, if you'll notice, we are just running um, these little weenies here. So let's go ahead and address why we like these. The Dream Thief. This is an outlaw. This is an outlaw. It's a warlock. I did not really even like know that until like, you know, just kind of like looking around here. So whenever it enters the battlefield, you're going to surveil one, which is pretty nice. You can kind of set up your turns a little bit like that. And when you do sacrifice this for either a braids, because of braids, you know, we're going to sacrifice things and get some more value out of it. Or we're going to go for Obnix Celeste to sacrifice it which is nice because it goes into the greedy freebooter the greedy freebooter is a pirate again it is an outlaw and whenever you die you scry one and create a treasure token and let's go ahead and get into this this thing nobody's running nobody is running this and i think it's a mistake this is a rat warlock it's a warlock so again it is an outlaw whenever it dies create a one one red mercenary creature token so it's going to create another outlaw and why i love this so much is because when you sacrifice it you're going to get a body back with like an odd mixless type of deck typically you see a lot of odd mixless in like uh, ani call anvil so you do have like those little like one ones and you go like wide on the board this helps out that a lot because the link breaker is going to create more things on the board whenever you sacrifice it whenever it dies getting that like mercenary token back like the actual mercenary doesn't matter that much because like the plus one plus zero oh i activate only as a sorcery doesn't come up a whole lot it's actually pretty weak but just having another body that can block because like this is the only card in standard that can do this there's that white uh phyrexian thingy but whenever it comes back it can't block this mercenary can block so Again, we have a lot of board presence here. The Charming Scoundrel, obviously, just because you can create another Wicked Roll, which kind of is good, because with the Lord Skidder's Blessing, you do need a roll on something to create for that one life and draw an additional card. It's obviously not that hard. It's honestly not that hard to do, because we do have, you know, Braids. You can sacrifice the Cursed Roll token. The Charming Scoundrel can just create another Wicked Roll. So very, very, very nice. File Smasher. This is a Mercenary, so whenever an Outlaw enters a battlefield under your control, you're going to deal one damage to target opponent. Pretty simple stuff here. We are pinging our opponent, so hopefully they don't have too much life gain. And, of course, it is a 3-2, so it's just a pretty good card here. Really, really nice card. And like I said, Omnix List, Laughing Jasper Flint. We want to get the board pretty wide here so that we can start stealing our opponent's stuff because this Rogue is going to make everything else Mercenary, so we get to uh, ping on them as well. So, the Vile Smasher and the Laughing Jasper Flint go very, very nicely because this is an Outlaw. When you steal them, they're going to become outlaws. So braids again, we could just sacrifice anything. Sometimes you do, we do curve out at three. So we can sacrifice our own lands if need be later in the game. Cause usually your opponent does not want to do that, but Lord Skinner's blessing. We're going to combine all this war. And again, I cannot believe this. the warlock pirate warlock. They're all outlaws, man. I just, I just didn't even know that spiteful hex mage with the Lord Skinner's blessing. Absolutely beautiful combo. I think this deck is like kind of a sleeper. It doesn't have removal, but like I said, you can kind of play around with it. If you think it needs removal, or if you play best two or best of three, you can play around with like some removal type of stuff. But let's go ahead and give a shout out to the patrons and the YouTube channel members. These are the Mana Rocks. They make the grind a whole lot, lot, a lot less grindy. So I got to thank you to the moon and back for supporting me and the channel. So consider joining the channel, but just do keep in mind that only you can help save the Aether with me. So make sure to leave a like on the video. The button looks just like this. Helps out the channel tremendously. Go ahead and answer the pinned comment below. Your favorite outlaw and low. Without further ado, let's get ready to vanquish some enemies. His dudeness. Hello. All right, not your highness. His dudeness. All right, we'll go and keep this. 
Oh, that was a mulligan. Let's go ahead and give the opponent the friendly mulligan. Hello. Everybody needs a friend when you take a mulligan because those things suck. Howdy, Yale. Hello. I think we'll go in for the... It doesn't really matter here. Let's just go for the Link Breaker, I guess. Kind of show off our little outlaw here. So, Swifty, definitely don't like to see that. Definitely don't like to see that. No doubt about that. So, double Freebooter. So, now we got to make a decision. Do we want to go for the Lord Skidder's Blessing? I think so. We do draw that way. Let's go for double greedy freebooter. Let's go for double greedy freebooter. I I think we'll just block or not block. Excuse me. Let's go ahead and set up our defenses here. We do have the Lord Skitter's blessing. I'm not really exactly sure what we're like looking for. Obviously, an Obnixilis is definitely the best thing we can snag here versus this deck. But we kind of have to set up a little bit. I. Again, it just depends what they play, because we have to be scared of Monstrous Rage. So, like, a triple block, probably not in the cards. Invasion of Tarker. Okay. Interesting. But here's the thing, though. If they don't... If they hit a creature, they don't... They can't love it, right? They can't love hitting a creature. They don't, probably don't despise it. So, let's go ahead and make the plan here. So, Braids. So, we get Braids, and then we get a Treasure Token. So... I guess we could go for double Lord Skidder's Blessing or just a single Braids, but nevertheless, I don't think I can really put away a Braids. I think we'll just have to let this go. Just down to three, so that's okay. That's manageable. And I think we're going to go for the Braids instead of the Lord Skidder's Blessing. Swing in here. Take the Braids. We're going to sacrifice the Link Breaker. We're going to get that 1-1 one, one back, and again, I don't... To my knowledge, I don't know if there's any other creature in Standard that's like that. Like a one-drop that replaces... Oh, replaces itself for one other than that might i know that might does the toxic might but then it can't block so i think this is like the only card that kind of works like this all right so now i have to be kind of have to play a weird game here kind of a, a game of like semi chicken if they do have monstrous rage then we are in a world of hurt because i don't i can't have them flip this so i think i probably will commit to uh some crazy blocking here Scoundrel. All right, treasure. Um, what's it they do first? Witch Stalker Frenzy, sure. And I think I will. Uh. So at least block here, and then I think we can do this. This is a little risky, man. Definitely a little risky here. But as long as it doesn't flip, we got a Laughing Jasper Flint. Speaking of flip, Flint, flip. I think we'll have to keep that, man. I think it looks pretty good. Alright, let's do that. Sock and Zen. Do you like the Sock and Zen? Probably, like, I mean a little, but I guess there's really no point in playing it, huh? Let's just go in for the Lord Skidder's Blessing. And I think we're going to put it on the Laughing Jasper Flint just to make it nice and big. And we'll swing in. We'll swing in. Okay. I think we'll stay put for this for now. Alright, so now I'm a little nervous. But this Laughing Jasper Flint, I think getting up the 4 Toughness, if they don't have another Witch Talker Frenzy, this 4 Toughness is going to be relatively difficult to deal with. Feld on. <laughs> Here's the thing. I think we have to block here. Um... They have to specifically have Lightning Strike, and if they did, they can just bust it open anyway. So, let's go ahead and take a, a damage here. Or casualty. Defiant Thunder Maw. So, let's go ahead and steal some stuff. Lightning Strike, Lord Skidder's Blessing. All right, we got some cool things we can do here. We get an extra draw. We do have a Lightning Strike. Hmm. Do they really want to trade with me? Do have this Lightning Strike and the Charming Scoundrel? What, what do we do with this Charming Scoundrel, though? That's the question. I think we're going to do this, man. Let's go for the Charming Scoundrel. We're going to discard a land to kind of make it a little bit more you because we don't benefit from this. We still have two mana, no matter how we slice it. Even if we make a Treasure Token, don't think it really matters that much. Smasher. And I'm swinging in, baby. They can't want to block here, because then we go for Lightning Strike, so they know that, obviously. That is kind of unfortunate. Okay. Bang, bang, bang. Down to nine. Now we got to make a decision. They're going to swing in, do two damage. 
So this is going to be what? Six, eight. I think we just lightning strike their face, man. I do. I think we do. Let's just lightning strike their face, baby. Take them down to six. And now, now I'm scared. Now I'm scared. Okay. We have 18 life though. But this Divine and Thunder Maul, man, that is a Wow! No snow fear here, let's go! Maiko, hello. Alright, so this is a little bit of an awkward start. I guess we can probably keep it because we have got double I think we, we can rock with this. We'll be fine. Ignore my pandering. Yeah, this Haunted Ridge is not optimal, but the Sulphur Springs, I'm gonna go for it, baby. We're gonna pay the one here. And then we're gonna go for the Hex Mage. And because this is already a 1 1, we don't really care to give it a Cursed Roll token, so who cares? Come on, who faces Kakazan? That could be problematic because when we exile. Well, I guess now we don't have to worry about the Haunted Ridge there. Um. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and drop this. That's fine. We have to pay the one, which is not optimal, but it is what it is. Alright, so we do have to. Uh, like setting up the Obnix list is going to be like pretty much the most important thing here. And like I said, with the Link Breaker, just getting that body onto the battlefield is just so important. Felled on a. Oh, I guess we'll just. So if, we, if we go for Obnixus, I don't think we can do that anymore. This is hard. I mean, it might not seem that hard, but this is a very difficult dis decision early in the match. So if I go for Obnixus, we're going to have to protect it, and then they're going to have a Kamanu. Then we're going to be in race mode. I think we'll just have to take it. Yeah, it doesn't feel great, but nothing does. Nothing does right now. All right, I think we're just going to empty our hand before going in for Obnixilis, so. Free booter, whatever. And now we get, yeah, we, I think this is probably the best move. So we get to hop them for one each time. I think I do like the greedy free booter a little bit more than you, even though I probably shouldn't because you can exile. So I guess we're just kind of clicking buttons here. Not even going to lie to you. And the Charming Scoundrel instead of the Hexmate. Hey, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm not going to lie to you. Create a treasure token, right? Yeah, okay. We, we found our way. We found our way. Hexmage. I think we maintaining efficiency here. Recurse roll. You're already a 1-1. One, one, doesn't matter. Swing in. Because at this point, I don't even really want to block with the Link Breaker. Because now that they have etching, we're not going to get that death trigger. But we will get it as a sacrifice, but not as a blocker, because now it's going to get exiled, which is unfortunate. Alright, I think we kind of stumbled closely enough into something that resembled a turn. We got a pretty good turn here, so... just like, I'm like a baby deer, just like waddling through. Don't have a whole lot of experience with this deck, obviously. So I think... Obviously. So let's go ahead and um, let this go, man. I'm let this go. If you got Monstrous Rage... Of course you do. Why would you not? <laughs> Why would you not? Down to five. But now we have braids. The weird thing is, is because this is an enchantment, we don't have anything that we like specifically don't have. So let me just kind of do the math here. Four, five, eight, nine. And then if I sack the link breaker, we get one from the gleeful whatever the hell. That's not enough. So we'll four, five, six, nine. Sacrifice you. Then they have to set they have to like discard two cards. Damn, that's that's so close. I'm gonna try it out here. Down to two. I'm still gonna try it out. We don't have anything that they don't specifically have. Creature enchantment, so we can't do that. I'm gonna go for Obnixilis instead. So let's go for the Link Breaker. And having the Link Breaker give us that 1-1 one, one to block could be the like life or death here. Alright. So we can have them discard two, or we're gonna have an additional blocker. I think we kind of want the additional blocker, right? Let's do that. Plus. Oh, I have <laughs> Your punishment is, is my entertainment. entertainment. All right, let's go, baby. All right, so they obviously are taking kind of a, you know, maybe they're kind of confuddled here, but we do get that life gain, and now we've got two blockers. This has trample, so. I don't know where we sit here. Maybe we should have gone for a little bit more conservative and like not swung in with all of our creatures. Down to one life. It is what it is. I got two blockers here. I definitely will be blocking at least with the devil token because we can pop off. 
If they don't have another monstrous rage though, we might be looking okay. So I am absolutely blocking here. Let's block you. Block you. You have trample anyway, so whatever. Down to one. All right. Oh, they, oh, they, okay. There, it doesn't matter. Okay, I forgot about that. I forgot about the uh, the exile. I don't know why I didn't forget about the exile. So we're not gonna get the devil is what it is. All right, well, we still should be good. They, they either finish us right here or they don't. Kamano will take out one of our Omnix lists, but I think we're still good. Woo. Not, worth the effort. not worth the effort? I disagree, Ob. I disagree. That was definitely worth the effort. We got the win. That was uncomfortable. Vanergan. Hello. Let's go ahead and keep this. Um, four lands is a little bit steep in this type of deck here, but we'll make it work. Let's go ahead and get our Dream Thief down. You always want to get a weenie down before you get the Hex Mage down. Let's see what we got here. Braids. Oh, we absolutely love braids here. Absolutely love braids around these parts of the woods here, man. Black Cleave Cliffs. I like your style. Um, so do we want to just get down the Veil Smasher, or do we want to go for the Spiteful Hex Mage to get the braids going? I think we'll just get the, the Vile Smasher down. I know it seems a little crazy, but I want to get the maximum amount of damage here. We can always just wait for braids. Legion Extruder. Okay, so they're going to kill it anyway. Eh, is what it is. Is what it is and ain't what it isn't. Let's go ahead and drop you. Yeah, I think we can still do this. I think we're just going to wait on the Spiteful Hex Mage, but of course, like, it just is what it is. You're going to have to wait on the Spiteful Hex Mage, so it actually might seem a little crazy, but I actually am going to sacrifice the Sulfuring Springs. I don't think we need a ton of land in this deck. Like, we just really don't, so you can be pretty aggressive with Braids on the lands, because there's no way they're going to let me do that. Blood Tide Harvester, all right. So here we go. We're going to go triple one drops here. I don't think I'm going to trade with the Braids. It just is not very good. So I am going to swing in with you. Let's go for a Spiteful Hex Mage. Put it on you. And because we do have Lord Skitter, you definitely you want as many rolls as possible. So you actually do want to keep the rolls here. Let's go and put it on the Link Breaker. And now Braids will get rid of one of these rolls. Not that it really matters. These are one ones anyway. But nevertheless, we do get some stuff here. And... Hmm. I don't really love a Sockinson, but it's like, I guess it's better than like an average land, like a mountain or something, so we'll take it. Let's see if they want to start doing this uh, Legion Extruder. This card's amazing. This card's very, very good. So let's see if they want to take the Blood Tide Harvester. If they get another Blood Token, they can just uh, pop off the Braids. But we do have a decent board state. Seemingly Rakdos versus Rakdos, and there's the Anvil, so it's going to be Anvil. Anvil versus Rolls. Alright, going for the Blood Token. Let's see if they want to actually pop the Anvil here. They'll probably just do like that like little block stuff here. Now that I do have another Braids, I am definitely just going to be looking to swing in with Braids herself. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I don't think we're really ready to go for Sockens in. Especially if we are swinging with Braids. I presume that they will just block. So, Link... I'm going to swing in with the Link Breaker. I am. Even if they do block the Harvester, that means the Braid... Yeah, I think we can do this. Alright, so they're going for the Chump Blocks instead, which actually makes me feel pretty good. I'm going to go pop this. That's fine. Bang, bang, bang. And let's just go right in for our lovely braids. Sacrifice a roll token. Yep. Oh, oh, you're flying. You see how he's like flying? I'm like, oh, don't click on the actual dream thief here. So, and now we get a Lord Skidder's Blessing. Okay, cool. This should give us plenty of card draw. Like I said, when we use our braids, I'll probably just sacrifice the Link Breaker and then just get it back. And life should be dandy. Keyword should. Oh, a hair oxymal. Okay, yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. I do get rid of their... Oh, God, okay. Yeah, I think we're going to do it here. I think because they have a, the O'Hare oxymal, I think we are just going to go full out. I think we are going to go full out. I don't think we're going to want to sprint this way. So, let's go ahead and do this. They are at 14 life. Instead of going for, like, the Lord Skitter stuff here, I still think we're better off doing this. We could start like drawing and like paying life, but like now that they have this O'Hare Oxenal, I think we're just going for it right now. So let's go for nine. 
Thrill Seeker. Okay, that's six damage with Trample. Oh my god. Okay, so six damage with Trample. If they go for Thrill Seeker, sacrifice it. I think we're still okay, right? I might as well block. I'm going to get a body back. I don't know exactly what they have in store for me. But we might as well, I guess, right? They don't have enough to double sack. Oh! <laughs> they did. Alright, that's actually that's actually pretty great here, so. GG's man. Oh here Oxidal takes it. Oh man. Martise uh, 26, hello. Okay, I think we can make this work. Um Haunted Ridge, obviously pretty awkward for us, but we're gonna make this work. We're gonna make this work, baby. We got the spiteful hex mage. We got plenty of rolls going on here, but I think these rolls pretty good, man. Nobody runs this stuff again. Is it really like a meta? No, but I don't think it's too far off. You can definitely make some pretty good ruckus with this stuff. All right, so we can go for a double. We can just go for another hex mage. Worst case scenario. Hopefully, hopefully they do not cut me down. I can just see it. I can smell it. Oh, I don't know what I was smelling then. But now that we have another untapped land, we got kind of lucky there. But now we can just go in for our thing. Lord Skitter's Blessing straight into the Hex Mage. And now that is a 4-3, baby. Swing in. And now we're going to start drawing cards every single turn. Lord Skitter's Blessing. This card is so good, man. I don't care what it says. This card's so good. Case of the Stashed Skeletons. That's okay. This has a Menace, so none of these are can block. We don't really care about that so much. So Now we get an extra card draw because of our Lord Skitter's Blessing. So we love that. I think we're just going to go for double i think we should go for double little dudes instead of the braids or the laughing jasper flint so let's go in for the spiteful hex mage we'll put it on you doesn't really matter and now we'll go for the charming scoundrel and now we're gonna go for the wicked roll so two wicked rolls now now we got two wicked hex mages this one doesn't have haste but it's okay all right they do have plenty. Uh, well, they do have enchantments. I don't know if they were gonna really want to get rid of that, but go for the throw. Kind of unfortunate, but not really a big deal. Let's see if we got a cut down. Oh, they do have a cut down. Okay, no problem. We still have the Lord Skitter's blessing and our blessed hex mage. Well, this can't block, right? Oh, no, this can't block. Sorry. Okay. What's? I mean, they're gonna chump block. What's their plan here, really? I mean, I don't really mind that. So let's go and swing in, baby. They are going to chump lock. No problem. No problem. That's all right. I think we're going to go in for braids. Yeah. Well, I don't know, actually. There's nothing I really want to sacrifice. Maybe a land. So maybe it's just laughing Jasper Flint. I don't want to sacrifice the creature or the wicked roll token. So it'd be a land. A land or the ja Let's go for the laughing Jasper Flint. All right. So now we have two. We got two outlaws here. They have plenty of removal, so I mean, like, they have a lot of low to the ground stuff that we could probably steal. So, I mean, I think I like this a little bit more than Braids here. It's close, but, but both of them are so good. Laughing Jasper Flint and the Braids, so freaking good, man. Obviously too good. Let's go. They don't even give us a chance to steal their stuff. Well, if it isn't the Archetizer, hello. All right, let's go ahead and keep this. Looks pretty good. I do love the Link Breaker, man. Just getting that body back with when you sacrifice for like an Obnix list is so freaking good. But I think we're going to start off with the Dream Thief. I'd like to see if I can get into a turn two play. Another Link Breaker, I guess, technically is. We'll go and keep that. So we'll just go double Link Breaker turn two. And then go for Obnix list turn three. That seems pretty good. Let's see what we're playing against here. Oh, it is going to be Demonic Ruckus. Do not like to see that really ever, to be honest with you. But it's okay. I'm swinging, baby. Swinging. So I'm next list could be pretty good here. I do not really want to see the bird, but you know, like these link breakers are gonna put in some work. So hopefully we don't see the bird because they're gonna fly in through with menace. So our Omnixali will be not very safe from that. Oh baby, and they got the slick shot show off. So now our play is a little bit sus. Okay. Because these are warlocks, and that's actually crazy. I mean, I just never in a million years would have thought this was a warlock until I actually kind of like started looking for him. But I don't think I can go for out mixed list. Like, I, I know it seems crazy, but I think I have to get down the laughing Jasper Flint now. I, it would be so nice, but like I said, they're just going to drop this, go for Menace. 
I can't see our Obnix is living, so I'm just gonna put down the Laughing Jasper Flint, and then maybe we can steal some burn spells for the Slick Shot show off that they're about to play. Seems a little better, so. Laughing Jasper Flint, hopefully it'll be us who are laughing, and they have another Slick Shot show off. Uh, don't love that. Alright, do your thing. 4-3. Let's see if they got like, a Monstrous Rage. This can go right at it. We're really going to need uh, the, this Laughing Jasper Flint, though. We have four. We have four? So, I mean, decent chance that we do snag into a burn spell. I mean, let's go. This is four. Let's see if we are going to be laughing. We are not. Okay. That is very underwhelming. Oof. Okay. Well... I think we're just all out racing at this point. There's nothing I can really do, right? So let's go for the Kamado Faces Kakazan. Hit him for one. And yeah, we're just gonna swing. I can't, I have no removal. Ooh. Typically, you're kind of hoping with the uh, Laughing Jasper Flint that you get the removal, but let's do it, baby. Obnixilis, a sacrifice the Link Breaker. We're just gonna get something back. And it is a Mercenary, which is actually kind of hilarious. So still fits the Outlaw theme here. Speaking of outlaws, Abby, hello. I don't need to Just obedience. So going to set this up and go ahead and do this. We are going to gain two life. So we are going to gain that two precious life because of our devil. And you lose everything. Alright, so, Picnic Ruiner, blah blah, alright, so, I hate to say it, this is pretty much the game here, we got 15 life, honestly, uh, I would much rather them be more preoccupied with my Omnix list, because right now, I'm not feeling so good, not feeling so good, Monstrous Rage, please just don't have another one, that's 9 already, look at, look at how crazy that is, man, that's already 9, I think we lost, just, I think 2 play with fires and we're dead, right? That's five, that's a hundred, that's enough, yeah. All right, let's go and give him a good game. Did not find any removal. We get to showcase the deck off a little bit here, but like I said, just double slick shot show off. It is what it is, man, GG's. Ah, tack. Okay, so tack and the power of Juju. That's what that game was called way back in the day. Although otherwise I'm tripping, but nevertheless, let's go and get our Dream Thief down. See if we can get a red source to be preferable. Another braids, we already have a braids, so I'm gonna say no to that. Jet Mirror, and there's our red source. Let's go in for Lord Skitter's Blessing. Bless you, my little uh, Warlock here. Swing in, and we'll be good to go. Yeah, this thing being a Warlock, I mean, I just had absolutely no idea. Up the Beanstalk, so we got a little bit of some time before we can kind of, like, get worried, but Lord Skitter's Blessing. Let's see if we can get some cool stuff going, which I would say this is pretty cool. Let's go in for you. I think we are going to go in for... the Before we go for Obnix list, I think it's better to just get this down. So let's go for our Veil Smasher. Link Breaker. Get some a little extra poppage going. Bang. Swing in. And then next turn, we can kind of decide if we want to go for Obnix list or Braids. And I think it probably will be Obnix list. Just because of the Link Breaker kind of combo here. But we'll see. We have a pretty good board here. Especially if they're not going to be running like, you know... um. Uh, temporary lockdown. This is going to be domain rather than control. March of Arthur, Worldly Light, really. They're going to get rid of a Leyline Binding just for this thing? I mean, okay. I think they're, they're going to have a hard time with the Obnix list here. So, the Siju. Oh my gosh. That is kind of rude. All right, we'll definitely take that. Oh, we got enough. We got enough red here. It's fine. Greedy Freebooter. You know what? I mean, I actually kind of want to. I maybe want to keep this. At this point, we actually don't benefit from dropping it, so let's go for the Freebooter. Swing in. Bang, bang. And now we're going to drop our Obnix list. Sacrifice the Link Breaker. Instead, of, yeah, we'll, we'll go for the Link Breaker, because we're going to get that one, that little 1-1 one, one back. Which could be all the difference in a lot of games here, but I'm just going to double plus. Them. Hello, Obby. The I thought it was just two Obnix lists talking. And you lose everything. That's right. I don't make the rules around here. So I'm not going to drop. We're going to keep this. So even if they do have, like, well, they have depopulate. They can't have Sunfall yet. But we're looking pretty good. Up the Beanstalk. Well, up the Beanstalk. 
technically is an enchantment, so if we sacrifice the wicked roll. Ooh, okay, so here we go. Late lane binding, but that's is kinda why we like um the Obnix list. So have two of them, so that's fine. My empire crumbles. My empire crumbles. Well, don't worry about that, Obnix. This will be fine. We'll be fine. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and plus here. See if they want to sacrifice. Good. Plead for I don't think they're pleading for mercy, Abby. Well, like I said, this mercenary, 99% of the time doesn't matter because it's just using a 1-1. To give one, so it doesn't really matter, unfortunately, but it's okay. Hmm. If I go for braids here, we do kind of put ourselves at risk. So we can't go for the abandoned mire this way. What do we sacrifice? Like just a creature? I think so. I think we should still do it. Well, let's let's not play scared. If they have sunfall, well, we just cry a little bit. So I'm gonna go for the greedy freebooter instead of a wicked roll token charming scoundrel and a link breaker i think we'll still need, we'll say no to the link breaker because now we can go for the abandoned mine i think we're fine yeah i think go for sunfall we can go for the abandoned mire as long as we have the braids Leyland binding is much better than a sunfall so that's okay we, we can rock with that are you gonna take my ob or are you gonna take my braids they are so let's go ahead and just do this now now that we can, we have to use this before our legendary creature goes bye-bye. Not sure exactly what we'll snag, but we'll snag something. Um, I guess it'll just have to be an AI. I was just take another braids, it's fine. And that's gonna do it, baby. Another braids and Obnix. Let's, let's go, baby. Thompson Colonel. All right, we got the Colonel over here. Let's go ahead and keep this. Not like the Colonel, we got the cool Colonel. We got the popcorn Colonel too. Obnixilus. Okay, we definitely love that. We definitely love me some Obnixilus. We'll go ahead and get down the Link Breaker. Assuming... Ah, I was gonna say, so if they're holding up priority with a, um... This type of color here, we gotta assume that it is the the Hulk Breaker, the Rack Those Joins Up kind of deck here, so... See if we can kind of break their will here. I'm gonna do it, man. Let's go for the Lord Skitter's Blessing. If they've got a counter, it is what it is, man. Looking good. So they're definitely just gonna go for a double Surveil. From a flashback with the otherworldly gaze, presumably. Which is fine ish. I ish. <laughs> so let's see what they got here. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. I forgot this was even a deck. So they got the Monastery Mentor deck. Okay. And this deck's also pretty good, too. Helping hand. That is a problem. Let's go get some extra draws here. Hmm. Okay, well, I mean, it's going to have to either be Obnixilus or Braids. I think we probably will go Braids. I think we'll probably go Braids. They could have a counter spell here, which is unfortunate, but... I think we're still just going to go in for Braids. Pick Lock Prankster, okay. Yep, go ahead and make your little monks. Because obviously, with Obnixilus, I don't... With, they're going <laughs> to... They're going to flood the board, so I don't think we can really realistically protect Obnixilus very well. So now what do we get rid of, though, is the question. I think it's going to be a land. I know that seems insane. Don't really want to get rid of the Wicked Roll token, because that's extra draw. But you know what? Draw be damned. Draw be damned. We got enough draw. So the Lord Skitter's Blessing is going to have to be put on the rocks here for a second. All right. I'm not seeing this deck in a hot second, but maybe it's making a comeback. Revelry. All right. Another Braids. Well, they, these all have prowess, which is the problem, so I can't realistically swing in. Not comfortably, anyway. So I guess we'll go for a greedy freebooter. And we're going to go in for Obnix Celeste. I probably will sacrifice the Lord Skitter's Blessing, especially if I don't have a roll token here. So well, let's go ahead and do this. I know this is not great. Again, we're not going to... It's going to be a hard time trying to um, protect the Obnix Celeste. It's going to be a hard time. But I still think it's probably just the best move here. I'm a little afraid of Abby, so I'm glad you're not. <laughs> Your punishment is my entertainment. entertainment. Alright, let's go ahead and pass. Yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of Lord Skidder's Blessing here. Don't have a roll token, so we'll just sacrifice it itself. 
There's a consider, so another prowess. Don't like seeing that. Because now their board's looking a little scarier than ours. Yeah, this deck is good, man. What the heck? Why don't I see this deck anymore? This deck is good. Helping hand. Yep. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's a lot of that's a lot of stuff. Consider. Alright. How do we win this? Because I'm not really feeling super optimistic anymore. That board is crazy. Do we just like let this go is the question? I think so. I mean, what, what, we can't really block. Like, what the hell? That doesn't make any sense. So, yeah, I think we'll say goodbye to you, Abby. Maybe I block and then do one damage to their face, because they have an uh, Sunset Revelry. I think we have to. It sounds dumb, but I think we're just so far behind. We're going to have to throw up a Hail Mary kind of here, so. What the smart. I mean, you said you were you said you said it yourself you said you were not afraid so what do we do here file smasher we're gonna have to because this is a token so we can do that file smasher and another obnixilis i guess so they're gonna go for this man this sunset revelry is gonna give them some life though Anything with life gain is really hard to uh, combat here. Let's go ahead and pop them. Whatever. I'm not worried about the board. We don't have a better board. So there's no point in committing to the board. Me, and you, you lose everything. everything. We're about to lose everything, alright. No doubt about that. Let's do this. Freebooter. Spell Pierce! Pierce. Oh, that's it. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna have to just give it up here. Laughing Jasper Flint. I, I, I don't know. Probably should keep it. I don't know. I think the game's pretty much just over though. Plus one this. I can't believe it. Oh my god. Alright, well, we're doing five. Like I said, we'll play it out, but I cannot imagine we win this game. So, we'll do this on a land. We could sack them down back to two with the Obnix list, but I, I don't know. I don't know, nothing we do is really going to be that enticing here, especially just if they didn't have the life game, we could definitely be in the running here, but now that they go back up to 7, oh god, oh god, anything that just, oh, the Sunset Revelry, if they didn't have Revelry, we would definitely have a chance here, but not looking good. March of Sword, oh, well, there you go, wow, okay. Pretty, pretty good stuff here. All right, so they're gonna finish us off. This is absolutely way too much in. Let's go ahead and give them a little, uh, a personal com comedic effect, and then we're gonna go ahead and clank it up. I can't click anything, but GG's. Uh, we won't even block. Just coming through. Come through. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah, I'm really surprised I don't see this deck anymore. It's pretty good. Emmett, hello, Emmett. All right, we've got a little pretty good hand here. Pretty mighty hand, if I do say so myself. All right, come on and face this Kagasen. So the way I kind of like to play this is I kind of would like to go for the Hex Mage because the Charming Scoundrel would give it Wicked Roll. That feels a little bit too obvious, I suppose. Let's go for Dream Thief. I kind of do want to surveil here. So we might need a, more, a little bit more, I want to say Firepower. We definitely don't like Pain Land versus Mono Red, so we'll go ahead and get rid of that. Swifty. Okay. Definitely do not like that. Uh, I'm gonna have to let that go. They are still kind of land, which is uh, kind of fortunate for us, but I think now we go in for a Link Breaker and then a Spiteful Hex Mage. So Spiteful Hex Mage, it doesn't really matter what we give the Cursed Roll token to, because they're already 1-1s, one which is um, pretty phenomenal here. Because they, I would normally swing in, but because they're stuck on land, maybe they just tap out for another Swifty or something. I don't know, we'll see. So obviously, Monstrous Rage definitely going to be looking pretty prevalent here. So I'm going to do this. Even if they do have Monstrous Rage, we still get the kill on this. So I think it's fine. Three, yeah, three power. It's fine. It's not great, but I mean, like, we still get the kill. So ultimately, we can kind of live with it. 
flat cleave cliffs and now yeah let's just go in straight in for our braids the orisa nightmare and we don't even want to swing here because like, we have to play this game a little bit differently because they're stuck on one land mm, just you and then we'll go ahead and get rid of this roll token draw i may just dr block you because if we now that we got rid of the etching of kamanu this gets a trigger when it dies, so now they don't have Kamanu, we can get something back if they don't have another Monstrous Rage. So as long as they don't have two Monstrous Rages in their opening 10 hand or ten cards, we should be okay. Another Kamanu, sure. I think I'll... I, yeah, I mean, I think I will double block here. Let's just get rid of this damn thing, I think. It kind of sucks not to have the braids going, but like I said, if we can just get rid of this thing, that's fine. 3D Freebooter. So now let's go in for the Veil Smasher. The Gleeful Grenadier. Grenadier? 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 I don't know. Alright, so Freebooter. These are going to be war or They're going to be... Some of these are going to be Warlocks. Let's go ahead and go for the Greedy Freebooter. Deal one to you with the Smasher. And I am going to pay the one here. Might be a little crazy. I don't think so. Be again, because they are just stuck on land here, I think we can afford to be a little bit more dicey. So I got my nice... Outlaw team. Greedy Freebooter. We got what? A pirate, mercenary, a warlock, and we have a rogue in our hand. So we almost have the full uh the full set here. So let's go for the greedy freebooter. The thing is, is with the charming scoundrel, you want to play this down, so discard a card, draw a card. So this is essentially just a plus one because I don't have a hand anymore. Yeah, I think we're gonna draw a card, discard a card. It's probably the best thing here. We got a laughing Jasper Flint. You gotta love that. Yeah, we'll go and just swing in here. Don't think they really want to trade. I guess we could be a little bit more aggressive, but I, again, just feels like we don't have to, especially with like a uh, monstrous rage as aloof. But they really got stuck on land here. Kind of hope they would at least get into two. Okay, yeah, so we'll get at least like showcase a kind of a match here. Feldon. I don't even know if I really want to block. So we give them access to land, right? So until, and then the end of next turn, we go for double greedy freebooter. And we can search for some stuff. Maybe we do. I don't. I mean, we have the laughing Jasper flip, but we get rid of the Feldon. Scry two, make two treasure tokens. I mean, we can be pretty greedy with what we get here. I would definitely like to see an Obnixilus. And there's an Obnixilus. There we go, baby. There we go. Alright, so they need to get removed because of the Etching Commando, that's okay. I mean, now that we have an Obnixilus, I think that's a little bit better. So... I... I guess we just do this now, right? Alright, I think we just do this now. So, because we're getting sacrificed, now the Etching of Commando is what it is, baby. Start getting some life. Go so some chaos. <laughs> Pleasure doing... I absolutely love Obnixilus. Just absolutely love it. Let's go ahead and do this. And I mean, this is kind of a grindier matchup considering that we um, did a bonehead move and just blocked with the greedy freebooters despite them having an etching. And I think I even made that a point early in the match, so I'm not really sure why I forgot about that, but nevertheless. Phoenix chick. You're gonna kill my Obby. Don't kill my Obby. No one beats me and survives. No one beats you and survives. No one will, don't worry. So they got rid of both of our obs, that's okay. We got a laughing Jasper Splint. Will be cruel and painful. This will be cruel and painful. So they block here, whatever. Let's go in for the spiteful hex mage. Again, we don't really care about the roll factor here. Let's do that. Laughing Jasper Flint. We'll be laughing all the way. And I think um we're swinging with you. We can't really block the chick this way, but like we're still getting damage in, so like whatever. Probably should I have I keep forgetting with this mercenary, it's only at sorcery speed, so that is a missed opportunity here. Because we could have taken our mercenary and swung in with a, like a charming scoundrel with this power. Because usually this is not that relevant, just having a creature tap for plus one plus zero, but it's only as a sorcery, so a little bit of a misplay there too. On top of the greedy freebooter. Hopefully we can kind of still snag away a win here. 
not playing the greatest but now we got the laughing jasper flint with six mercenaries here or uh, outlaws sorry but they yeah they don't even want to see it we're gonna probably steal some lightning burns i can't talk today i really can't <laughs>